And we're back. Uh, s sorry about last video, but me just getting into a tangent and all of a sudden getting off there. I forgot what time I had it stopped at. But anyway, uh, basically that last spot is basically, like I said, it's just a safety spot. Anyway, for those who are curious, center to the right, palace to the left. So we'll go ahead and for force fight our way through. Now, like I said before in a previous video, I am using save states, so, uh, and that's just because of the length of this mission, and, uh, it gets annoying, like right there, so, this level is all about trial and error. But it's not as abused as I thought it was going to be because when I played this blind, uh, this mission gave me so much hell. But guess not now. So we'll go ahead and work our way to the city center. Now you may have already noticed, but the game tries to warn you, not once, but three times, that you're not supposed to go to the city center. Uh, the first hint here is if you notice the building to the left of me, it's all ruins and decayed. And also you notice the building in the middle of the screen there is all destroyed and decayed. And that building also right there is just kind of destroyed and decayed. Uh, so basically, the game gives you that's that's your first hint that this, that is not at the city area. So if you want to keep going here, go ahead. If not, that's fine too. But going to this area first also gives you a shortcut. So. I, that's why I normally went this way. Anyway, also we run into our uh, first different enemy here, the grenadier, and he just chucked two grenades at us and killed us. Yeah, they use grenadiers in this level. So uh, for those who were wondering why don't they throw grenades, well here you go. Normally in the other Army Man games, they use rifle and the grenade, but this time they actually have one guy who's just whole purpose is to throw hand grenades. And everything spawns next to a wall pretty much here, so just use your bazooka and clear them out as you go. You're not going to run out of bazooka ammo, trust me. And there's another grenadier, but we popped him this time before he got set. Since we're hurt a bit, there's a, there's a med kit right there, so we don't have to use our mobile med kits. Now, here comes your second hint. As you're walking through here, you'll notice a chain set of explosions. Uh, you can't hear them, but there's like a set of like three explosions. And then we'll go on to our uh, third hint. Once we cleared out the area, made sure everything was okay and hunky dory. See, so here's your second hint. It looks like the code is not in this area. And like I said before, you'll hear like it said a chain of explosions before you get get the, that second actual game hint that you shouldn't be here. Arg. And again, 
no manual aim means taking this box out is a pain in the butt. We'll give it one more try, and if it don't work, then we'll just ignore it. Throw a grenade at it. The grenade went off, but nothing happened. So it's fine. It'll be that way. Don't want you anyway. But okay, here's your third and final hint that th that the plans are not in this area. Why don't you pick up this ammo? What are they doing? That's not right. These weird buildings. These buildings are wired, and then they'll all explode on you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. There's four hints. There you go. There. Here now it finally blows up. They give you like five seconds and then boom. So like I said, the game gives you fair enough warning. You shouldn't be here, but so but you can use that as a shortcut now. Now we're in a, right behind the palace. So you can either go to the front gate, which has a whole bunch of stuff, or you can come back here and uh, pop off a few units. Plus you can get these here da handy dandy mortars. You know, it's a tank all of a sudden spawned right out of a gate. Is Eas easily dispatched. And yeah, it normally takes three bazooka shots to kill one tank. Now as we walk here, there's another tank that spawns in. And he won't move anymore for the rest of the game. For the rest of the level, I mean. And now we get to see what's waiting for us if we had chose the other route. Notice that there is a regular guy and there's a jeep right there. That was hiding an ambush on us. So we got the drop on him and we can now mortar him. Also ignore the blue dot for that now. Uh, that's a noob trap for later that I'll explain. And see, there's a second jeep for us. And you can just take that out with machine guns. And I also notice that there's guys spawned all over uh, between the two areas here with a bunch of statues and plaques and stuff. But as long as you keep moving and pick a line of direction you're wanting to go in, you're fine. Also, in case you're hurt, that guy has another mobile mid kit for you, so it's worth it coming down there just for the additional med kit. The red dot kind of lies. He's over there instead of where the red dot is. See? Red dot was off by a little bit. We'll just do some cleanup duty. That's why I was saying before, this is kind of like Sarge's Heroes 1, is the directions you go, uh, whoop, there's a grenadier, ouch. <laughs> it's pretty much the directions you go uh, can spawn different enemies and whatnot, so. Okay, let's make another safe state here, and let's go ahead and go on. Now, for, because that unit last saw you, that direction will keep shooting that direction, so you can get the drop on him. And there's also another guy who just freshly spawns there. If you can go this route, and you need him to spawn, so he's important. You need him spawned. You know, so there's also this tank here that was waiting for you. So we have to get ourselves in position, make sure he don't shoot us. Right now he's aimed at the uh, building to the right and to the left of us. So we'll just go ahead and do a quick mortar shot. That didn't kill the tank, though. There's no smoke or nothing, but it did disable the tank. So it won't be adjusting its cannon and whatnot. We'll go ahead and do a fire on it. Fortunately, we're out of bazooka. But here's some more bazooka. But we gotta clear out some enemies first. 
So now the tank is active, so you can actually kill it now. But what we did first was just disable it. There are some landmines in case you need them. It's a little bit late in level for landmines, but they give you some anyway. Yeah, I'm going to try to grenade chuck the guy. He's hidden behind that second pillar. Didn't throw it far enough. So we'll just go ahead and bum and rush him. Now, yes, I know that there's a tank right behind me, but I'm, I'm stressing this again. He's disabled. See, his t turret isn't turning. He's active, but he's disabled. So we just have one more, and then there we go. Now he's actually dead dead, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. And here's a plaque. Uh, like I said, it's all in gibberish. Uh, here you go. Here's a better view of it. See, you can't really tell what it says. Would have been nice. There would have been something on there to read, but... Yeah, well. Okay. Now, it, and that's, like I said, that's a, not really a noob trap, but a noob trap if you're wanting to go that way. So that would be the third one. And here comes our last noob trap. And our game's first auto lose condition. First things first is we gotta make sure everything's out there. And in case people were wondering, main palace entrance, courtyard of remembrance, royal fields. Anyway, first things first is clear out the area, make sure everything's fine. Now you notice there's this tan uniform part here. Make a safe state here. Uh, reason why is you can lose even with this uniform on you have to do this in a certain way or it, they will auto lock it but before we go to the palace we have to move Shadow up and like I said th this part here will actually make you redo the mission over and over yet just because of how stupid they want you to do this so you just have your guy up there with a knife. He'll walk well, after you get to the boulder. Anyway, now there will be a prompt. I need admittance to the palace. Approach, let me see your ID. You approach this guy right here. If you don't approach him, then he'll lock the doors. So give him a little bit. And once he gets to his normal position, there you go. And you notice this guy here. So just stand in front of him too. Notice you can't walk beside him yet because it's locked and then just stab him now it says stay put and try not to get noticed where is your partner that basically means you've satisfied the first condition of your guy getting there so we have to hide him in the corner so now we have to get Chidao out now if we had killed the other guy he would have triggered uh, an auto trigger there and then uh, it would have ended the level as in me losing. So I have to make sure to kill him with Shadow. So go ahead, snipe him, and then just run right up. And then there's one other guy who spawns in, but he doesn't matter. Anyway, this is Kinky signing out.